Okay, so let's have a look. We created this texture in the last lecture. We are in texture paint here. And let's go to object mode. So what we will do now is we will make a grass object that we can use as a particle for the particle system we will be making later on. Now let's first select the well and hit H to hide it. We don't need it now. Make sure the cursor is in the center. Hit Shift S and then hit 1 on the numpad or choose cursor to center. Now the cursor is in the center. Then hit Shift A, Mesh and select the plane. Now go to Edit Mode, Basing Tab. Hit R to rotate. Then hit X to constrain around the X axis. And hit 90 on the numpad to rotate. Now we will unwrap the small mesh. So hit U and choose Unwrap. And I see nothing because in the image viewport here, I on the view, I need to select display texture paint UVs. And also make sure that you are in paint and not in the view mode. Here, choose paint. View shows nothing, paint shows UVs. Now in the operator panel down here, make sure the margins are set on zero. And now we can duplicate this mesh, including the UVs, by hitting Shift D, Escape. So we duplicated it without moving it. Then hit R to rotate Z 90 degrees on a numpad. That makes a nice cross. Now let's make a material. Go to shading. Then go to the materials preview. And we need a material. So let's go to the materials tab and hit new here. For now, let's make this emissive as well. Just as we did with the well. We don't really need this shader that we used before. So here under shaders, emission, that gives this emission shader. There's also emission in the BSDF shader itself. So let's try and use that. The principal BSDF shader is a shader that has a lot of options. It has the base color, emissive, you, know, you can make glass with it. It's a physics based renderer with the emphasis on based. I won't go into detail now, I'll do that in a later lecture about rendering. So let's continue with what we were doing. Let's first add a texture, shift A, texture, image texture, and then color out to base color in. No, uh, make that emission. And let's have a look. There we have the texture we made before. And yes, it's upside down. But that's something we can fix later in the UV editor. Let's first take care of the transparency. First up, drag the alpha from the texture to the alpha of the principal BSDF shader. We still don't see any transparency and that is because we don't have any blend mode set. So scroll down until we are at settings. Here we have a blend mode and set that to alpha blend. And there is a Y alpha, but now we still don't have any color. So let's connect the color to the base color here. And there we have a very nice grass particle hanging upside down. So let's fix that. Let's first go into edit mode, select all, because we need to fix both of the UV, um, yeah, the UVs. Go to UV editing. Here we have the wrong texture, that doesn't matter. Make sure you have everything selected. So hit A to select all. Then hit R and rotate 180 degrees. Let me call up the right texture. So we rotate. The UVs on this texture, which makes the texture rotate on the mesh. Yes. And that gives us this nice model. So this is one grass particle, which we will then later on use in a particle system. Oh, and there's one more fix because the orange is now in the center of this model. And it needs to be on the bottom, same as in the well. So let's go to a um, texture paint. Let's go to object mode. The origin is in the middle. When we rotate now, it rotates around the center. Like so. So we want the origin at the bottom. So let's do that. Let's go to edit mode with the tab key. Make sure everything is selected by hitting A, numpad 1 to go to front view, and then G to grab, Z to constrain around the Z axis, and let's first do it like this on the bottom. So the red line represents the bottom, and when we rotate it now, we this part will be sticking out and we don't want that this is the floor and that part is a gap. So you see, tap, hit G again, Z to constrain on the Z axis and let's put it around here. Now let's go back to object mode, 
and let's do a test so we need a really large angle before we have that part sticking out so that's pretty good let's keep it like this escape to console rotation so that's it for this particle object make sure you save this project in the next lecture we will use it in a particle system it's a bit technical but it's uh, fun to do i promise okay see you in the next lecture and again i say bye bye